One of the most popular and honored of all comedies uh, was Taxi. We're very proud to present you with some great outtakes from this ABC classic comedy, along with some recollections from one of the members of the all-star cast. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Judd Hirsch. Hey, thanks, Dick. Uh, you know, Taxi was a wonderful experience, and uh, one of the reasons was the great writing. That's why, as an actor, I tried to interpret those words just as the writer intended them. Also, there's what I call license for wishful thinking. I have no right being here. I, I don't even want to be here. In fact, it'll probably be doing new me no to go. I can't even take this. <laughs> Elaine. Worst part is I didn't even get dinner out of it. <laughs> Usually when a guy dumps me, he takes me to a nice place. Hey, I tell you what, let's do. I'll get the guys together and we'll go, uh, we'll go to some, uh, you know, funny looking joint, which is uh, around the corner and have a, a couple of beers and then we'll all jump on top of you and everything. Ah. <laughs> now, everyone remembers the character of Reverend Jim, sort of spaced out ex-hippie. Of course, Christopher Lloyd, the actor who played him, was nothing like that. Uh, or was he? Well, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Why? Well, what do you think the odds are that with that... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Here's a scene where Christopher Lloyd had a kind of a poignant moment. He's in an empty courtroom, and he decides to walk up to the judge's bench when no one's around to see what all that power and authority feels like. But uh, Danny and I had a better idea. You know, Danny DeVito took so much joy in playing that mean-spirited tyrant, Louie. But sometimes he just got under my skin. And my reactions, I'm afraid, were sometimes not for public consumption. Rita, come in here. Rita! Hi. Hi, wait a minute. You stay there or I'm coming down. <laughs> Alex, I got problems with my love life. Get the <laughs> out of here. <laughs> now, this next blooper is one of my favorites, and I'm not even in it. Now, it features Danny and a wonderful character actor named Lou Gus. Now, Lou had what you might call a hangdog expression, and Danny couldn't look him in the eye without Watch. When Maxie started, when Maxie, when Maxie started driving, the George Washington Bridge was dental work. Now, yeah, look, Max, look at it in this way. You're not really old. You're not really old. You're just middle-aged. Forever. <laughs> want to say anything. I mean, I don't really want to say that Maxie is old, but uh, when he started driving, the George Washington Bridge was dental work. <laughs> ah, but look at it in this way, Max. You're not really old. You're just middle-aged. But look, look at it. <laughs> look at it in this way, Max. You're not really old. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dick, thanks for inviting me to be part of this 50th anniversary celebration. If you've proven one thing over the years, it's that good shows may come and good shows may go, but bloopers go on forever. <laughs> good night. Judd Hirsch, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Judd, very, very much. Don't go away. We've got a lot more still to come.